It's time for Second Date Update with the Playhouse. You got with somebody, but for whatever reason, another date does not seem to be coming, and that's where Hillary is today. Hillary, what's going on? Uh, I went on a date with this guy, and it went amazing, and we had a great time, and I just haven't heard back from him for a second date. Like, we planned on it, and I don't know. Like, I texted him one time, and he's just not answering, so... Okay, so you just, uh, you have a date, you texted him one time, and then the text just not, there's no response. That's not usually a great sign, if we're being honest, when they wouldn't even respond to the text. Yeah, and like you're reaching out, and he's just not saying anything, not a good sign. Right, we'll give him a call here in a sec, though, okay? Yeah. You're in the Playhouse on Y94. Good morning, Y94. I'm the Playhouse. See you in the morning. For when you're getting ghosted or blown up. This is Second Date Update. In Second Date Update today, brought to you by Enchanted Seeds. And so far, I've been speaking with Hillary. Uh, I went on a date with this guy, and it went amazing. And we had a great time. And I just haven't heard back from him for a second date. Like, we planned on it, and I don't know. Like, I texted him one time, and he's just not answering, so. But to understand what's going on there, we're going to need Joe. Joe, do you still hear us okay? Hey, good morning, yes. All right, man, Zero and Amy with the Y94 Morning Playhouse. Good morning. So you do have a couple minutes for us today? Yeah. So we do a segment called Second Date Update. Okay. We've already chatted a little bit with Hillary this morning. Uh, She is on with us, by the way. Hi. What's up? (laughs) We're just trying to get her some closure, maybe even another date with you. She's pretty sure you're ghosting or not interested, just kind of like to know what's going on. Uh, We will keep asking until you just tell us, if you could just tell us if you're not interested. (laughs) Well, I mean, she was a great girl, don't get me wrong, lovely, and we went to dinner and all, everything was going great, the conversation was great, and so at the end of the dinner, you know, being the gentleman that I am, I walk her to her car, and we get to her car, and I swear to you, it looks like she's living out of her car. It's a disaster. Okay. Like, the back seat is full of just shoes and clothes and cardboard boxes <laughs> and just like bathroom stuff Raccoons. towels and like cleaning materials and I, like i'm like is this girl moving and i asked her i'm like hey what's what why is your car so messy and all this stuff She's like oh i just haven't had a chance to kind of clean it out i'm like okay whatever loser i mean come on that's what you're gonna we had a great time we got along we laughed a lot Joe, it didn't even matter how good of a date you guys were having. Once you got in the car, you saw it was messy, and then that kind of just ruined it. In my head, I'm like, well, if her car is like this, I can't imagine what her house or apartment looks like. And I'm a neat freak, Mm -hmm. and I just can't stand this sort of living. So I'm like, all right, I'm out. I I can't, you know, I'm kind of OCD. So I I, I started freaking out and twitching. So I just like, that's it for me. You know what? Whatever. It's a little freaking twerp. I mean, come on. I don't need this. Like, my house is perfectly neat because I'm never home. My car's a mess. Whatever. I work hard. Joe, doesn't seem like you'd be interested in getting in that messy car and checking out her clean apartment. Sorry. And Hillary, if I'm not reading you wrong, it sounds like your mentality is, if you can't handle me in my dirty car, you don't deserve my clean apartment. <laughs> exactly. If you get all of me, even my mess in my car. <laughs> Hillary, do you feel like you got closure at least? Do you understand why and what happened? I'm okay. (laughs) All right, appreciate it. And Joe, thank you for the honesty. And don't worry, with all these car washers in town, there's statistically going to be some women with some pretty clean cars for you to date, okay? They're out there. I'll keep looking. All right. Later, guys. Appreciate it. Initial text response. Anybody got thoughts on either of them? Someone said that he's describing Amy Kay's car. Well, that's not false. (laughs) As a female, we keep things in our car that we may need. Am I going to get cold? Don't worry. I have a cardigan. Do you know how lucky I've been where I've been out with people and they're like, I'm cold. I have cardigans. I have sweatshirts. Uh, With an S, cardigans. Yeah, I have whatever you need. Someone said, though, I'm with Joe. If you have a messy car, a messy house that says who about who you are as a person. And someone's pointing out she called him a loser for being grossed out by her car. Grow up. And where people are saying, uh, my sister always told me. The way someone's car is, is how they have their house. I keep it clean. I don't understand why people let garbage pile up. It takes two minutes to clean it up. I do think on a lot of these things, we probably, I'm just blocking you in with me. Maybe it's just me. I tend to have maybe a bias for whoever the first person we talked to was. 
like, you know, the person that initiates us wanting to do a second date update or whatever the case might be. I actually think I like Joe in this better because he was actually very respectful. He was very forward about it. He just explained that he's kind of a neat freak. He took ownership over it. He likes everything in its place. Those two aren't going to work out. Not only, I think she called him a loser, but if I didn't, I think she called him a twerp too. She did, I think, say that. Maybe I, her phone was a little iffy there for a second, but I think she called, was calling him like Whatever, memes twerp. and stuff. So I kind of actually, I think I prefer Joe in this scenario. I will agree, he was nice, and I do think they're not going to be compatible if he always wants things clean. But I would like to say, just because you have a messy car doesn't mean you have a messy home. You know what? Maybe we need some photos to prove this. I will FaceTime you when I get home and show you my apartment. We need we need some standstills of the of course the, the what am I infamous holding? Newspaper? vehicle. Yeah, and I need a newspaper that's got a date on it or something. It's not garbage in my car, and that's what it sounded like for her as well. It's not garbage. It's not like it's McDonald's bags and things like it's items she may need. She had cleaning products. Maybe she was going to clean her car and she never got there i still think i could find some mcdonald's bags in your cars i do have an empty energy drink in the door and that's about it